The urban steel from Canberra Van, man. You know it makes sense. A conspiracy free zone. Concrete, concrete, and concrete. I mean, I had to do uh, some running around today. I'm in London yet again. Um, which I'm going to have to, it's now six o'clock and uh, I'm not driving back to the garage, no point. So I don't think I'm going to actually park. It's quiet enough now, but it is a bit of a ghetto, this area. And it's a bit, uh, it's not got a very nice name. So uh, I'm not going to be parking here. But um, you know what I'm trying to say? Some other channels, they've got these uh, lovely pitch, pitch, I can't even get my, t put my teeth in, picturesque, um, you know, the lovely channels, isn't they? They're really good channels, you know what I mean? And what do I offer you? Uh, <laughs> that's what I offer you. Oh, God. That's the way I roll. <laughs> when you come back and you, you've uh, looked at a better channel, um, you might want to take interest in this one. Because it's this is the channel with waltz at all. Not literally no waltz, but, you, you know. Figure of speech, no waltz. All right, I'll uh, catch you later when I find somewhere uh, better to park. Tell her. This isn't the place I'm gonna uh, park up. Um, uh, I just have to go. Oh, I'll, just, I'll turn the camera around in a minute. This is the the clue is in the name, the urban stealth camper van man. Um, I mean, I don't go to no exotic locations. I'm, I'm just about surviving. Do you know what I mean? And if I have to. It's bad enough, I've got to go, well it's not bad enough, I've got things to do in London, but I try, I, I usually stay within 5-10 miles, so I'm not clocking up loads of miles on my, on this van. There's more miles you, you do, more likely the bloody van's going to break down, so um, that's why I'm the urban, instead of the pitch, picturesque um, green green valleys stealth camper van arsehole, part of the language. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go into Tesco's Express there because I've got to get a few bits just for tonight. Mainly milk, actually, because I'm going to treat myself. Well, hey, I think I deserved it. To no, actually, I was going to have a pub. No, I was going to have a pub meal in there, you know, only because it says 4.95. So tight ass but I've just noticed there's a fish and chip shop down there as well so uh, I might have some uh, actually saying that fish and chips is so bloody expensive anyway it's probably cheaper to have 4.95 probably cheaper to have a 4.95 uh, up mill I think I'll do that I'll, um, I'll give you and it's the Queen's Arms in um, uh, bought it. I'll give you a review very shortly, or not. Right, I'll uh, see you later. Look at that lovely rainbow, eh? Isn't that nice? Hello. I changed my mind with uh, uh, the pub grub in the end. I had um, uh, fish and chips. Well, no, I didn't have fish. I just had the chips and uh, and a bit of a pie. I don't know, the point for a, a very long time, but um, it was no, there was just no atmosphere in it. I think there was three people in that pub, and I'm not going to sit in there, do you know what I mean? So um, it was no point. So uh, yeah, I had me fish and me pie and me uh, Dr Pepper. I had to think about it. So uh, yeah, it was all right. Not too bad. That's just stuff there. That's the bloody thing. Um, it's about quarter past seven at night and uh, well it's exactly quarter, no quarter to seven at night um i'm not driving back i'm going to stay exactly where i am and uh, i ain't moving a bloody tool so uh there you go right i'll show you where i am i'm in a quiet little bit of london which is believe it or not is uh, free parking that's where i am just around here so uh Nice little church, just in case I get all really religious and funky in the middle of the night. Um, 
a few gravestones there and when they start freaking me out then I'll uh, I'll, I'll be parking somewhere else <laughs> that's the dead can't hurt you it's the bloody people who are alive still uh, can bloody hurt you isn't it that's the, uh, that's the saying anyway right um, I've got everything I need for a quiet night let me do a check tea bags milk TV yeah job done I'll catch you later Tell her. nice and quiet where I am um, I'm not outside the church I moved down the mode a bit because that was quite noisy it was quite uh, it's like a cut through believe it or not it looked nice and uh, peaceful but it wasn't but I'm literally around the corner um, retuned the TV in because I come out of Suffolk and I go into London retune the TV which is no big deal but I forget every single time I think there's um, the, I think there's something wrong with the bloody TV so that's all done um, had me fish and chips earlier on well fish and chips fish and a steak and kidney pie so my belly's full I've had copious amounts of uh, tea um, but the only thing that's driving me and I mean driving me around the twist is the bed's nice and comfortable I've got numerous pillars I ain't, that, that, ain't prob that ain't a problem I'm in me under crackers but you don't need to know that but I'll share that with you anyway the only thing that's driving me around the twist is where I park the van it's on a slight decline and I mean a slight decline it's, it's on a bit of a you could hardly tell but in the van well I only sort of realised um, well when I laid down I realised but I only realised before was when I made the tea and the tea was on no the top, like the top cup the top of the cup of tea was on on the uh, wonk um, which I didn't think was be would be a, a major um, problem, but it's getting right on my bloody nerves. It's scared. It's getting so much on my nerves. I might have to throw some clothes back on and uh, move the bloody van back. It's got it's gone one in the morning. You know what I mean? Um, it's a pain in the neck, but it drives you crazy. It literally it feels like you know, like you feel like you've got a lot of pressure on your legs. It's the 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 actual decline is uh i don't know but it's not a major one but obviously uh you wouldn't build a bed on the piss would you so um yeah maybe i can counteract that with some choice pillows down by my feet i oh, bloody hope so because i don't want to get hurt all right so i actually made a video of me moaning there's a surprise <laughs> Just having a bit of a pit stop. I've stopped here before. I think this is uh, Faxted. Pretty sure it's called Faxted. Um, I'm just gonna have a bit of a drink and stretch my legs because I've been driving for about an hour and um, yeah, I'm just on the way back to the garage and my sort of area. I can, I've got all my bits and pieces. But uh, I always love stopping here and having always have a cup of tea and uh, sometimes I've had a couple of uh, a couple of nights here before. Um, not on the actual high street but around the corner. But I just wanted to show you this white building in front of me and uh, this telephone box with an actual working telephone inside it, which is I haven't seen that for years. Um, I've seen them when they've been converted into like a like a little library sort of thing but uh, not with an actual telephone in um, but it's beautiful here I just love it it's just if there was a an advert for um, how England used to be um, this would be it I mean time's gone by and all that sort of stuff but uh, oh it's lovely it is a lovely really nice Really nice. Yeah, really nice. I'm just waiting for uh, William Shakespeare to come out of the house and uh, um, man bust some moves. Yes, that's lovely. I wonder what that was originally when that was built. Is it someone's house? That's mad, isn't it? That is mad. Crazy. This, uh, this street could tell you uh, a few stories for sure. Really nice. Don't you just hate that when you're getting right into the groove on the radio. Hold on, let me turn that up one minute. 
and, you, and you're giving it large driving down the road and then you miss your freaking turn off on the sat nav and uh and it adds an extra 6.4 miles not on my fucking watch it ain't so uh i've just had to hijack a farmer's field to do an emergency u-turn because i'm in the middle of friggin nowhere and is that was the last uh, almost on a handbrake skid 6.4 miles on my journey jog on Fuck that. all right i'll uh, see you in a bit bonjour finally i've reached me uh destination where i want to be so um oh that is a long drive that is but uh about an hour and 40 minutes um but never mind um yeah i just wanted to show you this last picture i've done i've done it the other day and um yeah this is all freehand again and um yeah i don't know what else to say i haven't got a fancy story to tell with these pictures but i'll just show you anyway but uh, there you go um, I don't know if that's in focus, but yeah, it's uh, it's come back a bit. Yeah, it's all uh, it's all hand painted, obviously. Um, yeah, but I quite like it. A bit different. So I thought I'd share that with you.